Previously on Eat Like an Apex. Okay, hey guys, we're here at Junk Mail Masubi at Foodie Land in Berkeley, California. I saw the line in the front and they're just like, just going to town right now. I can see that they're pretty, getting pretty busy. All kinds of a Masubi things going on. Deep fried, hot, not cold. With fries, let's go. They crank out as much Masubi as possible. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna give us a bite right now. That is something that you must try. Yeah, go ahead. Cheers. We're at Foodie Land in Berkeley, California. First of all, this uh, is my name's Oliver. Oliver, you're the manager here. I'm the chef. Yeah, the chef looking it up here today. What do you guys serve? What's your? Uh... Uh, we do Asian fusion, mainly just style plates. Uh, this menu we brought this week, we're doing a tofu bao, pork uh -huh. belly bao, uh -huh. spicy chicken barbecue bao, okay. and a beef bulgogi bao with kimchi. Okay, so there's like Asian fusion type deal. Yeah. Oh, right on. So they're assembling with their assembly. I'm gonna come back in with some buns. So this is Asian fusion. I see the lettuce wraps. It might be like a, like maybe like Korean base, but they had the bows too, right? You guys use like bows bread with it. And as to the station, they're gonna kind of work on making the food here on, on this end here, so. Chicken. And you just top it off with some crunchy wonton strips. Now we do it in the plate so you kind of build your own. If you want more of one than another, right on. The uh, pork belly, you know, a little cilantro, pickled daikon, cucumber, a little bit of hoisin to top it off, add, add a little bit of sweetness to the salt. Nice. Genius. Guys, Genius. So. All right, so we're going to take this outside here. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. Okay, we are at Cross Hatchery. And they have introduced two dishes that they that Chef Oliver made for us. One is a spicy chicken with the bao and coleslaw, and the other one is a salt and pepper pork belly. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna try that spicy chicken first here. I think I'm gonna make like a taco with this one here. So I just add some of that spicy chicken, put it in here, and then. First bite's not spicy, second bite is. All right, man. What's the spice level? What kind of spice do you guys use? What kind of peppers is it? Pretty much, it's a level of sriracha. Level of sriracha, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna put some of that, uh, some that of this coleslaw. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. And so I uh, have a little taco here, the spicy chicken with that bao and the coleslaw. All right, cheers. Yeah, you're right. There's some zing into that spice there. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. For me, I love it. Yeah. So I love that chicken, that shredded chicken with it, and that, their sauce they use with it. I think that's a great variation. Included with the bao bun. Oh, that's perfect. Asian fusion food, to me, it's like an Asian taco. That bao bun is nice and fluffy and moist as well. Coupled with the cabbage, like shredded cabbage without any sauce, goes perfect with it. Yeah, definitely refreshing and crunchy as well. And I love those wontons, the crispy wontons with it. Take another bite here. Go. All right, spicy chicken with the bao. If you want something spicy, that'll do it for you right there. The next one they have here is the salt and pepper pork with a drizzle of that uh, teriyaki marinade and some uh, these pickled uh, radishes probably. Matter of fact, let me try that. Uh, let me try those radishes real quick. If they are, if they are radishes, but I believe they're pickled. Yeah, yeah, pickled radishes. So same idea. I'm gonna pop this open and uh, add a couple, uh, couple pieces of the uh, salt and pepper pork belly. And I'm gonna add some of those radishes as well, just like that. And why not? Let me add that pickled cucumber. All right, here we go. Okay, here it is. All right, yeah, check that out. Nice little taco. Let me give that a bite right now. Yeah. I'm gonna chase it with some more meat, actually. Pretty good. 
First thing I like about this here is I love that pork belly. Pork belly to me is probably one of my favorite parts of the, the pork, the pork belly. It's very gelatinous, nice grilled texture to it. It's like pan fried, but sprinkled with the salt and pepper. That's just like, like excellent pork belly right there. Yeah, nice and fatty, very flavorful. Coupled with the, that sauce, drizzle on it. Oh yeah, perfect. And then you have the uh, pickled radishes along with it, with the cucumber. Great, refreshing variation into that bao bun. Oh yeah, that's unique. That's genius right there. This is cross hatchery here at the Foodie Land Market in Berkeley, California. Is this original stuff like that you? This, uh, yeah, yeah. this is all yeah. made by the owner, but okay. he taught me the ropes and okay. slinging it now. All right, uh, you're the main chef here, and the owner is uh, Christian. The owner, Christian Adrian. Christy. Yeah, they're both the okay. executive chefs. And okay, uh, I'm the one doing. Right doing on. all the events at least. There's right. other vegetarian right, variations we do. We bring them out to different different events. So yeah. if you guys want to come to see it, yeah. uh, check our menu before the event. We're, we're sure. on the Instagram and all that. We'll right. post up what we're making that week. Look them up, show your support. All right. Nice, dude. Okay, these lines are just like like crazy long right now. Hey guys, we are here at Foodie Land and we caught up with some friends of mine. JR and Marissa's here uh, on the Foodie Land biz. So good to see them here and they're having their little Momo delicious food Momo's here. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm here with Neil. He's the owner of Marley Streets, and uh, they are a dessert food truck, I believe. Yeah. Uh, we serve ice cream, cupcakes, macaroons, uh, rice krispies, flan. Um, generally uh, Filipino inspired. Oh, Filipino inspired. Yeah. Oh, nice. Me too. I'm Filipino. Oh, nice. So I'm inspired by the, by your inspiration, your awesome. truck, man. Okay. And then, again, this is Filipino inspired, and so that ube is again, it's gonna be from that taro plant, the purple ice cream, and I love it. It's one of my favorites. So, yeah. yeah. So it's called the ube ube sandwich. Yeah. Two rice krispies. Here's that. All right. Let me just set that off in. Get that out, and then let's. There we go. Grab a top. Right in. Now, what kind of is it? A rice krispie type bun, or what um, so basically, this is gonna be a rice krispie. Okay, yeah, nice. what we do is um, we make a ube marshmallow, uh -huh. and then we mix it into a regular rice krispie, and then it turns it all purple. Sweet man. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, that looks just monstrous. That looks just incredible. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna give this ube 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 ice cream a try? Yes. Okay, cool, let's do it. What's up? I got two sandwiches. Two sandwiches? Hi there. Okay, pebble, okay, vanilla. okay, so Neil made for us the, the ube ube sandwich, and that's with a rice crispy infused marshmallow like patty. And then like it has the ubi ubi ice cream. It's a just a block of ubi ubi ice cream inside of it, and that just looks incredible. And I'm gonna go ahead and give that here a bite. But ubi is one of my favorite ice creams. Oh wow! One bite. Uh, okay, that right there. That's like. I kid you not, it's like one of my my favorite ice creams for a reason. I love that purple ube. I mean, that purple is a it's the color, but you get that that nice sweet taro flavor from the ube, and it's you know it's ice cream. You can't go wrong with ice cream. That's delicious. And then you have it coupled with that ooh, it's dripping. Coupled with that rice krispie patty. Oh yeah, excellent. A nice purple theme, and it's just like oh yeah, that's that's super good. Yeah, I, I need to take another bite. Another bite. Go! Yeah. Oh yeah. If you're ever here at Marley Streets, make sure to get one of these here. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was Marley Streets here at the Foodie Land. Oh, that, that ube sandwich was really bomb. Yeah. Definitely a big plus. Thank you, Neil, for hooking it up here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, let's continue this food. The land food tour later. <laughs> Cute. 
Ha <laughs> <laughs>